Here's something for knitters who also sew. This just came to me as a free sample, and I have an idea for it. It's elastic, really stretchy elastic, with a ruffle. Now, I am very hesitant about putting ruffles on little girls' clothing. I know they're precious as all get out, but I clearly remember the annoyance at wearing itchy lace when I was a small girl, and I don't want to inflict that on anybody. However, this looks to me as though we can sew it directly to our machine knitted knits, or actually it would work even on hand knits and loom knits as long as they were fairly fine gauge. If we sew it onto the outside where it can't actually touch the child's skin, it shouldn't annoy her and we get to look at it. Here's the setup. We're going to pretend this is part of a child's dress, possibly near the hem or across the seat of a pair of ruffled pants, the kind that go over a diaper. So we'll be sewing across the knit. This is the length that was knitted from down here to up here. Normally you would, of course, choose a um, matching thread. I'm purposely not so that you can see what happens. That's the straight stitch setting. I'm going to the widest zigzag and a relatively short zigzag. On my machine, the dial goes from one to four, and I'm on one, with the idea that we want to preserve the ability of this to stretch over the seat of the pants. Now, if we sewed it with pink thread, it wouldn't really show the sewing, but here we go. That is working beautifully. In fact, so well that if you wanted your zigzag to be part of the decoration, you could choose thread accordingly. While I continue, I'm going to talk you through a few things. I use a normal pointy needle, not a needle for knits when doing this. I've also somewhat reduced the foot pressure and so I have to do a little helping of the feeding, but I'm not very aggressive about it. My left hand, which looks like it's just laying there, is in fact holding the two fabrics, in this case the original knit and the elastic, in alignment. I'm, I don't want to stretch this, nor do I want the knit to stretch beneath it. Practice on your swatches. It does take some practice. Now let's have a look. This looks nice and notice it stretches as much as it originally did. So you can use it necklines on the lower edges of sleeves, the lower edges of dresses, across the seats of pants, pretty much anywhere because it's not changing the fit of the fabric. The reverse side looks like that. My book, Knitting and So On, contains many, many more carefully explained techniques that seamstresses who also knit, or knitters who are also seamstresses, can use to achieve really professional finishes on their knits. It's cut and sew, but it goes beyond what you may have already tried.